Hello folks, Alan Wassum here and I'm about to show you how to change the confirmation page um, from your autoresponder into a default URL meaning when you opt in opt in this and then uh, Alan Wassum at hotmail.com so when you opt in to your uh, own campaign this comes up okay and you don't want your prospects or whoever to see this you don't want um, people opting in and coming to this page alright because it's really confusing you've got this all over here and then people just don't ever really sign up um, they don't do the free sign up they don't check their emails emails you know it's just it becomes one of those like wow I have no idea what this is all about it almost looks kinda spammy so you want to change this into your own default URL okay you're gonna go back to your autoresponder campaign, whichever autoresponder or email service you're using, Aweber, GetResponse. Um, I personally use GetResponse, and if you want GetResponse, go to www.createwithallen.com. Um, come up here to my must have toolbox, and uh, it's the second one down, GetResponse. I also have Aweber up there, um, but I personally use GetResponse. I like it, it's easier to use, yada yada. Um, but anyway, so do that and then you want to go into your autoresponder campaign um, let me go back to the dashboard so I can just start from scratch okay to change that that confirmation page URL into your own default URL you want to go to contacts and you want to go over to web forms okay so you see your you're in your current campaign your web form is right there you're gonna want to edit and then you're going to want to go down here to show advanced options okay and then right here confirmation URL see this right here this is what I want them to go to I've already put it in this replace this right here with where you want the people to go to right when they opt in okay it doesn't have to be this this is just mine but replace it with your blog replace it with your sales page whatever I've already got it replaced in there so then you go to next step okay then you go to next step one more time now here's the interesting part here's where it gets kinda of confusing so it changed it right it changed it here for you it put it it put it in the HTML um, that you can upload to your website but what it did not change was the form that you already have uploaded to your website so you thought you changed it right but when you opt in again uh, it hasn't changed it's still the same and this is where I got kinda confused what you need to do is you need to go through here and you need to find uh, the the change in the HTML it's really easy because it'll be your URL page so you just kinda scroll through here until you find your URL which is this right here okay so an easy way is to just control oh oops come on here anyway apparently that's not that easy uh, but so we see HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash uh, www.sevenfigurenetworker.com um, and it's right after ID equals uh, quote confirmation URL so what we're gonna do is you're gonna log in to where you can edit that text okay I'm in the back of my WordPress blog right now um, and I have my autoresponder opt-in box under this text right here so then you scroll down scroll 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 until you get to your autoresponder text actually that's my uh, Facebook connect um, right here confirmation URL value equals now see how there's nothing in between these two quotation marks this is where you would place your default URL so let me see um, and I just put it right there value equals let me make sure that there's no space okay so value equals um, my default URL so then you click save now you go back to the front page you go back to your home to test it you always want to test it out and then you type in Alan Wassum Awesome at Hotmail. Get it now.
And look, it took me here. It took me to my hey, default URL. what's happening, my friend? This is and, uh, Mr. Jonathan Butt here. Edit and I'm not quick. dead serious very often, <laughs> but with how there we serious... Go. Got him shut off. But anyway, so there you go. It took you to your default URL, and you have changed it. And there you go. That's all for this uh, tutorial for you guys. I hope that helped. And uh, that's all you need to do is find um, where it says value equals, you know, uh, quotation mark. Find that in your HTML that you have on your blog and just replace it with your confirmation URL, your own personal URL. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you. Um, and I hope this helped conversions because it, it helps immensely, actually, because people don't get confused and then they don't uh, put your stuff in junk right away. So there you go. I hope you guys liked it, and I will be seeing you guys around. Take care.